design production company. So today we have this. We're gonna get this opened up. Now this just goes around, I guess, all the way around. on my desk. I have been looking forward to this for longer than this thing has existed. I live in a tiny house with my brother and he was like, hey, let's get the HomePod Mini. And so I was like, sweet, definitely. I was thinking about getting that. Anyways, so he's splitting this with me. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to open this. Is it? It doesn't look like there's any special Apple-y way to open this like there usually is with Apple products. So, razor blade. I don't want to damage the box too much. Let's get this opened up. Throw that off. The bottom says, HomePod Mini. Siri helps you get things done from anywhere in the room. Enjoy amazing sound with Apple designed audio. Experience multi-room audio with AirPlay 2. Pair two HomePod mini speakers for stereo sound. Intercom between HomePod speakers. Control your smart home. Additional information at apple.com slash HomePod mini. That's about all that's on the box. Let's get into the box. I'm excited for this. Let's do this. Look at that. Um, whoa. It feels just like the HomePod. I did not expect it to be this small. Is it unplugged? No. Uh, this is USB-C, so I'm gonna have to get plugs for that. I don't think I have one. And I doubt w there's one in here. Can't get this to, there we go. Grab this guy out. Uh, in the box, there is this guy. I that's that's funny. You buy a one hundred dollar HomePod Mini, you get this to plug it in. If you buy the eleven hundred dollar iPhone twelve Pro Max, you don't get this thing. What? What? So today we're doing a joint review of the Apple MagSafe wallet versus this cheap wallet from eBay, the MagSafe Duo knockoff from eBay, and the Apple HomePod Mini. To start off, I'd like to talk about the HomePod Mini. It's very small, like look at this in my hand. It's smaller than it looks on video. I've even looked back at my unboxing clips and it's a lot, it's a lot smaller than it looks in those clips. So I'm gonna plug this in here. The issues that I had with the original HomePod when I first tried it out are somewhat still prevalent. When this is on, this takes precedence every time. Hey Siri, turn on the flashlight. Sorry, I can't help you with that. It can't help me with that. Hey Siri, what's the battery percentage on my phone? It says I can ask about battery level on other devices, but I can't. So if I want to use Siri on my phone, I can't when this is in the room. So that is an issue of mine. I, there's no way that I can differentiate which one I'm talking to. I just, I have to talk to this one if I'm in the room with it. And it's a little bit more limited than the phone. Those issues are still prevalent, but it has voice recognition, so uh, I can't do this very well. So pretty much every time it figures out who I am based on my voice, and I think that's very cool. Alexa can't really do that that well. I'm not sure about Google, because I haven't tried that. But I will say that it rolls on a table. If you bump a table, it could roll off, so I would watch out for that. It sounds pretty amazing, considering it's a third of the price of the regular HomePod, but I would say, I wouldn't play the regular HomePod at max volume unless I was just demoing the speaker quality. This I would play at max volume. 
but that's probably the highest volume I'd put it at, is max. Like, I wouldn't want to go any higher. Yeah, if you like louder music, go with the regular sized HomePod. All in all, it's a pretty good speaker. It's just great for playing music, and uh, if you have smart home devices that work with Apple HomeKit, it can be your hub. So, currently, you can have an Apple TV as your hub, a iPad, or a HomePod. And so it was getting really expensive to get just a hub for my home kit. And now there's a cheap option directly from Apple. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to keep it, except I might return it and get uh, space gray just so that it doesn't get dirty. But I love the idea of a white screen. I can be playing a song. So I'm playing a song on my phone and I point it. You don't even have to touch it, and it just, it transfers over to the HomePod. Now listen. Max volume. This is max volume, and it's right next to my ear. I would not do this with a HomePod. Uh, I'm actually curious. Yeah, there's like bass right here. It fills the room, but... I feel like a good speaker you shouldn't be able to do this with and it not be like, oh my gosh, my ear is hurting. So I want, I'm gonna leave this in my house because I can't take it with me. You can't put like a battery on this. I, and I wanna take my music with me, point, and it transfers to the iPhone, starts playing on the iPhone. Now you can hear volume difference between the two devices. It is quite a bit louder on the HomePod Mini than the than the iPhone Mini, and like it kind of, I can feel it reverberating around the room. It's like it almost feels like surround sound. That I can put this anywhere in the room, and it feels like surround sound. So to move on to other things, I don't want this music to be playing. So we're gonna pause that. Sold out on the website, these, the Apple Wallet. So I took all of my cards out for privacy reasons, but I've got some blank cards, some Apple Store and App Store gift cards that I'm gonna show you this with. We can slide a card in, slide another card in. It's pretty much three cards is what you can get in there. You can maybe stretch it to get a fourth, but it's a bit, that's a bit much. And when you magnet this to the back of your phone, it's pretty secure there. Like you can shake that quite a bit and not have it fall off. But to get your cards out, pull it off and there's a little spot for your thumb to be able to push them out. So you can push out your cards like that, slide them back in. I will take a card out, uh, use, my, use it, put the wallet back on, and then I will, when I'm done with it, slide the card back in. We've got this, $10 eBay wallet, MagSafe wallet. It does not show anything on the screen when you put it on, and it doesn't have as good of magnets. It can only hold two cards, like it gets really tight if you try to put more than two cards in. And when you put it on your phone, it's not very secure. Like, you can just fling that off super easily. It slides around, so I would not suggest like a cheap one on eBay. Usually people on eBay can make like something pretty much the same as Apple, just cheaper, but this is not the case with that one. So I would suggest buy like a name brand one from Amazon. There were some, there were some that were called like Cooney. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, uh, but they were sold out. Uh, this one was one that could arrive in time. I have been so enjoying this wallet. It is $60 uh, if you buy it from Apple. It's nice leather. I love the color of this yellow. I know I am like the cheapest of cheaps on everything, uh, but it's definitely worth it to go Apple if you want this kind of wallet. It also works with a case, but I really do like the feel of it with just the phone. Moving on to MagSafe Duo. 
Apple invented this and charges $129 for it. This was bought on eBay for $40. Take my phone, stick it there. Works like a MagSafe charger, charges it. And then it also charges my watch. So this is Apple's like replacement for air power. Since it's just magnets and a Qi charger, it's pretty much like easy to be produced for super cheap. I will say I have barely taken this anywhere and it has attracted so much dirt and it doesn't rub off. It's a cheap material on the outside. Obviously not apples. You can see there's like wrinkles there and there's the band you can see on from the outside, the wires going between this where this plugs in and here. Also, when you close it, it doesn't stay closed. It kind of pops open. But I would say that since Apple's is so expensive, $40 for this is probably a good deal. And even when I return this phone, I think I will keep this charger. It won't have the magnets until I add the magnets uh, with a case. I'm gonna build a phone case for my iPhone SE that will give it wireless charging and MagSafe support. That will be a video coming out on my Homemade Industries YouTube channel. Anyway, check out these items in the description and I'll catch you guys next week.